everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. As you can see, we are outside and we have a giant bubble and my family, minus Eli behind me, which can only mean one thing. We are doing a last to leave challenge. I'm about to tell them what they're competing for. Up until this moment, they have no idea. Are you guys ready? I'm scared. What is it? <laughs> the last person to leave the bubble wins a four-day, all-inclusive trip to Disneyland. Stop! Oh my Stop. gosh! Stop. Oh, I love Disneyland! Cool. So yeah, it's a trip to Disneyland, and I wasn't sure if everyone was going to be super excited, but they were. Oh my god! I love Disneyland! If you guys don't recognize this bubble, this is from the most expensive item off of Wish. I did that video a couple years ago, and literally all of the top comments were saying, spend 24 hours in the bubble, do a last to leave challenge. And we have never done something like this on this channel before. It took so much preparation and also checking into the safety of the bubble. Don't worry, we checked into that. We're gonna be okay. Safety announcement. I just wanted to come on here really quickly because on my bubble video a couple years ago, there was some concerns from people commenting on the other comments that told me to spend 24 hours in the bubble, that it's unsafe, that it would be like carbon monoxide effect. And I did look into it, that's not a concern. The motor is electric powered and it's pushing oxygen inside. So there's like a constant air exchange, but just to be sure, I did reach out to an actual firefighter who is my mom's friend's husband and he said that it shouldn't be a concern. And it would be different if the motor was gas powered or like there was a furnace connected to it, then there would be cause of concern, but it's just an electric pump pushing air in. So they're gonna be okay. And just in case the pump stopped working, I did give them an escape route out. There was a knife inside so they could just cut out of the bubble. So we really did make sure it was safe for them in there. So don't worry, they'll be okay. I have no idea how long this is gonna last. I don't know if it'll be one day, three days. There's actually a heat wave going on right now. Do you guys have anything you wanna say? You, I'm they're legit, competing. I'm legit scared of my parents right now. <laughs> yeah. Few rules that we have. There is actually a bathroom outside. I know in Mr. Beast videos, he makes them go to the washroom in like buckets and then they <laughs> handle it. I really didn't wanna do that. So I set up a little porta potty. So that's the only time they can leave is to go to the washroom, but I'll be monitoring them. They cannot spend too long in there. That was my personal preference. I didn't want to deal with that, so we're just not gonna. Other than that, though, they're stuck in there. They had $100 to spend on food and comfort or anything they wanted. <laughs> this is what they got in their boxes. What's your plan of action of how you're gonna win? My technique is based on endurance and survivalism, and also keeping my mind occupied and sharp. So basically what we've got here is I brought my piano. Inside the box, I have my piano lesson books. I have regular books for reading, carrots, rich in vitamin A, blanket, a whole bunch of non-perishable foods, canned fruit, all kinds of things. I'm wearing enough clothes for three days. I'm wearing two pairs of underwear, a pair of shorts, <laughs> two pairs of socks, three t-shirts, and a sweater. No wonder you cranked the AC back in yeah. the vehicle. I wasn't too worried about eating because I can go for days without food or water. I did want to keep amused and I have a, uh, I have a massive intellect that can only be quenched by the Sudoku. <laughs> Who isn't dying to know about the Friends reunion? <laughs> then I will cool myself, eat very healthy, need Ooh. I say more, create some masterpieces that maybe could sell online for mega money. For my personal item, I brought my violin. I'm gonna entertain everyone or drive them out of there quick. <laughs> you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. I, for one, need things to do. If I'm having fun, being creative, I'm happy, so I have a pillow, I have a fan, I have a light. I have really practical items. I have a lot of things, but I don't have much food. I didn't get a can opener, so I might have to open my cans with a dental pick, because that came in with my toothbrush, my toothpaste, and I have bubbles. I'm gonna blow bubbles in the bubble. And I have a yoga mat to actually sleep on. And I think without further ado, they're gonna hop in there and we'll see how long they last. Oh! oh. oh. You're going down. Okay, I'm gonna need 
need your phones. This is a no phone zone. That hey. does mean Apple, Apple? Watch. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, just, a Apple watch. just a sec. It feels bad. Like, I'm like, you guys get in there. Bye. Bye, Bye. honey. Bye. Bye. You have literally no Bye. chance of winning, Dad. <laughs> Mia, ye of little faith. Hamsters, it feels wrong. They're reorganizing. Dad oh. zipping up. Tea! <laughs> We're setting up camp for the long stay in the tent. Are you lonely out there? Lonely. <laughs> come on in, girl. You come on yeah. in. You know you want to in oh. here. <laughs> Over here is where the little bathroom is. Big shout out to the person who's allowing us to use their land. He's such a sweet, like 92 or 93 year old man and he's letting us film on his land. And we made him a lemon meringue pie. And my place that I'll be living is in the Sprinter. I have all of the setups in here, got all of the cameras charging, got their phones. And I have a few sabotages and also good things. I genuinely feel so bad for locking them in there, but they do want to be in there because they want a chance to win. But I don't know, I just feel bad. I just want to let them out or like put an AC unit in there. I don't know how long it's going to go. Like I said, there was a heat warning today. It's going to be 30 degrees. So we set the bubble up in the shade, so that'll hopefully help. And it does have an air vent and it's constantly pushing more oxygen in there. That's how they're not going to suffer basically <laughs> apparently I talked to a firefighter also I'm supplying the water because I don't want anyone getting dehydrated so that wasn't part of the stuff they had to buy they get water and now I just wait and sit here I'm lonely I want to be in there with them <laughs> I'm already bored I love my mom Aww, thanks. bribe thanks, bribery Not, uh, don't even want anything in return you gonna share one you all, since I'm feeling charitable right now. Thank you. You're welcome. Are you guys this hot or is it just me? My mom is struggling. Seriously, she said she was going to be able to last three days. It's been 15 minutes, you guys. Are we even in here? I'm delirious! <laughs> Okay, I'm in the entryway. It's not too bad yet. Hello! Oh, it's awful in here. It's literally awful in here. We're gonna do some sabotages and pros. You can get a lot of good stuff in here. Okay, who wants to pick first? I will. What do you do? I get to wash my hands. <laughs> I get to put on the bubble. Right now? And wash your hands in the sprinter. Right now. Mom? Oh my gosh. Okay. If you choose, you can silence one person in the bubble for five minutes. <laughs> Come on, baby. Stand on one leg for a minute. <laughs> Whoa. That's that a didn't sabotage. Sound <laughs> and if he can't do it, he's out. That's that, not true. That is true. I can't believe this is happening to me. <laughs> the jar of sabotage. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Dad, you were right by. Dad was quietly <laughs> right by the back. Yeah. Dad. Did you know? <laughs> I silenced you. <laughs> oh, Dad silenced for five minutes. <laughs> Hard to see. I'm sorry, I take it back. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna be in here 30 seconds longer than whoever leaves the floor. I think I'll just stay in for an extra day, just to enjoy the time alone. Yeah, in the camera, Dad, real quick. Dad, you have Lego man hair right now. <laughs> what? Can chicken anyone? <gasps> oh. oh. Is it cat food? Here. Yeah. yeah. Mom, you have problems. <laughs> All right, I'm getting out. Five minutes later. Can we get to make it better? Hey! My violin sounds like better than normal because usually it's pretty oh. squeaky and hollow. Sing along if you know the words. <laughs> Sorry if the uh, 
<laughs> Sorry if the motor is kind of loud, you guys. If I turn it off, there'll be no fresh air going in there, which will make it very hot. So I'm just leaving the motor on, so it's a little bit loud. I'm just sitting here. I kind of hope someone gets out so I can hang out with them. Maybe I should have made the prize worse. Okay, it's now around lunchtime. I'm gonna get them to pick another one because there's a few like lunch related ones where I can go get them a meal. Kind of smells like Disneyland in here. <laughs> okay. Whoa! Ice cream of my choice! I get to have a five minute phone call. Oh! Wow! wow. That's so exciting! What is that? You get nothing? That's so <laughs> I get nothing. I get nothing, I'm sorry. <laughs> You guys are officially in direct sunlight. How's it feel? You can feel it. Am I at Coachella right now? <laughs> she found out it's colder in the entryway and she just locked herself in. I'm having the time of my life. That's what I like to call a good use of energy. Wow, it's impressive. I've got stickers in my sticker book. We're gonna try and stick that blanket onto the wall. Oh yeah! All right, it's never gonna work. There oh we my go. gosh! Mom, now as long as we lay. Chippy! Baby! Baby! Hello! Chip doesn't know what. Oh, he has no idea hello, what's going baby. on. Baby! Chippy! And your ice cream. Okay. <laughs> Chippy, Finally, how you doing, so Chippy? How you doing, baby? How you doing? All right, Tate's giving me his blanket. I'm getting concerned because the sun is like right over top, so I'm gonna throw the blanket over the top for some shade. They don't want me to do it, but I'm just like concerned for them, so I'm gonna do it. Oh my gosh, that helps so much. You really saved the day. You're definitely not gonna make it. <laughs> Surprise snack. Surprise snacks. You don't get to choose what it is. That's okay. Oh, I get an ideal protein snack. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What is it? She got an ideal protein snack. Yeah. I have to keep my hand on the bubble for five minutes. Oh my gosh, you keep getting the hard ones. <laughs> All right, straight to the bathroom. No enjoying outside. Nope. Wow, this feels so good. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your winnings. Can you believe that? Surprise Wait, snack is banana for dad. Nice. Ideal protein for mom and water for Tate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you guys. Thank you. Thanks, Mia. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so now they've figured out that this little entryway is a lot cooler, so they're all in that little entryway. I think it's because the little engine thing, or not engine, the air pump pumps more air. Also, you guys, this air pump is powered by electricity, not gas. Don't worry. Mom got a little clue too close to her fan. Did anybody get scissors? <laughs> Let's see. Oh my gosh, it's wrapped around. Okay, so it goes, it spins naturally this way. So it's got to go this way. Wow, you really did it. <laughs> now I have some baby flyaway here. It's awesome. There should totally be a guard over this. It's like, I'm going to be honest with you. I gotta get the windshield put in my truck at an appointment. <laughs> I'm doing that in book for like a week. When is it? What time? It's tomorrow morning. Oh, it's tomorrow morning. Okay. I do have to leave by 8.30 Yeah, morning. and if we aren't going to get out before 8.30 tomorrow morning, he might as well not spend all this time in Why there. torture myself? That's fair. All right, you guys. My dad just told me that he could be incentivized to get out. kind of feel like he said it because he's ready to get out, so I need to figure out what that's worth to me. You guys. I heard my mom just say, I can't believe you're gonna manipulate your daughter. And I don't know what they're saying, but I'm gonna sneak through the trees and try and listen. They're totally scheming. I'm gonna act like I heard everything. I heard your little plans. I heard your secret little plans. 
You're not gonna get away with it. What? I don't know what you're talking about. None of you. What? You can't manipulate me. Huh? You can't manipulate me. <laughs> what did you hear him say? I heard everything. What? Are you <laughs> not serious? gonna work. I can't believe it. <laughs> they believe it. I have no idea what they were saying. I just know they were up to something. Eventually. I'm trying to get somebody out. Who wants out? Dinner with me at your favorite restaurant. You're gonna take that offer. You are? Yeah. He's coming out. They were never this happy when I was in there. All right, Dad, how was your time in the bubble? Well, it was bubblicious. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Another sabotage. <gasps> What'd you get? What? What? I get the mirror snack of my choice. That's pretty cool. Hey, you've gotten only bad things in here. Mirror snack what? of my choice. What's up now? Get out of bubble for 10 minutes. <gasps> oh! I just want like a nice, cold, crunchy salad. You got it. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Tate's out for 10 minutes. Oh my, how's it feel? It feels so much better. Tate's heading back in. The outside world's not so great. <laughs> it's not what it's cracked up to be. You want it back in your bubble? I wanted to be back in here. Aw, that's nice. She doesn't quit. She doesn't stop. I don't want any more sun. Hello to make. I'm here too. <laughs> it's nicer in the bubble than out. So I'm continuing to work on my flamingo. Are you ready to see it? Yup. Bon, bon, wow, look at that. Incredible. The supper has arrived. Oh yeah. <laughs> This, this this person keeps staring at me eating. So I feel I've got my own supper. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good honestly. Does mm. someone want their phone call? Do you have your piece of paper that claimed oh, no. your phone? I actually lost it. Interesting. <laughs> I guess I'll just put this back in. You have a 5 minute call right now. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> it's going pretty good. All right, yeah, I'll catch you later. He's ready. <gasps> I got 15 minutes on the phone. Hello. You get a blanket for the rest of your stay. 15 minutes on the phone. You guys, we're just chilling. But like we're watching my mom. She's having so much fun. And Tate is hating it. Tate is purely doing it for the trip. My mom's just doing it because she enjoys being in the bubble. All right, you guys, as you can see, it's getting pretty light out. It's almost eight now, so they've been in a long time. The mosquitoes are also coming out, which I'm struggling with more than them. A mosquito bit me right on the forehead. They seem to always do that. But my mom and I are actually doing a 30 day hula hoop workout test and she's not exempt from 30 days just because she's in a bubble. Seven minutes of hula hooping, go. All right, that's it for the hula hoops. They're still just in there. It's 01 p.m. What the heck? Now you guys are having fun? Like, <laughs> like what is mom doing? All right, you guys, it is 8.25. I'm leaving a little bit earlier than I was expecting, but honestly, there's not too much going on. I don't know how you guys are gonna sleep. I'm a little concerned because it is getting cold and it doesn't look very comfortable in there. And you have the emergency phone if you need to call. You have the emergency knife if you have to break out. I'll miss talking to you every 30 seconds. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to MTV's Bubble Beds. Mom. On today's episode, we have Mama Maples. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty happy about it actually. Oh my my, 
We have got to the five star hotel here. Oh, Whose nest is this? Luxurious operation here. <laughs> I think this is what I was most prepared for. Yeah, the sleeping. the sleeping. And obviously this is what I was least prepared for. I have bare legs <laughs> and a baby blanket. Come on, what was I thinking? I wore shorts. We're starting to get a little spooked, definitely. Yeah, we're <laughs> Did you just move? The bubble bobbled. The bubble bobbled. It's scary because we're going to be able to see outside and it'll be pitch black. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. The final installment of the bed setup. It's the version that we created when we realized how scary it was going to be spending the night out here and also how cold it was going to get. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> we're sleep. We're, we're snuggling up. <laughs> It was the only way. Yeah, yeah. And I already feel like we're gonna get a much better sleep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what's up everybody? It's oh my up. gosh, it's so dry, it's so late. We're getting actually tired, so just in case we fall asleep, we just wanted to say good night. Good night, everybody. <laughs> good night, everybody. <laughs> yeah. I just woke up. It's 6 30 and it's so bright out. They haven't called me like an emergency. Sorry, I'm so tired. I literally had like the worst sleep of my life. I'm so nervous for them in the bubble. I slept for like two hours. Gotta open my eyes. We're at the bubble and the spinner. It's still blown up, so that's a good sign. <laughs> they didn't have to escape root out. I wonder if they'll be asleep. That's nice. Tate's letting mom use all of his blankets. Tate probably could have got my mom out because she's probably cold, but he literally used the blankets. All right, they're sleeping? It's not hot at all. It's actually nice out. So uh, we'll just see how long they sleep for. We saw some movement. It's morning and and dang is it ever bright. We're not scared anymore. We slept outside and we're not scared anymore. We made it through our first night. Our first night, get that tape? Yeah, get that on, get that on camera. Our first night. We made it through first, our first night. First night of many. Yummy, yummy, bring me breakfast. No, I'm good. I invite you to my table. I'm not having any, I'm 100% sure. It's actually really good. Whew, oh my goodness, you guys. This has been so long and so stressful. Something about not knowing when they're gonna come out is stressing me out. So we're coming on 24 hours in the bubble and I really wanna get someone out. So I'm just finishing editing a video and once I'm done editing this, I think I'm gonna make my mom a really good deal to try and get her out because she seems closer to coming out I think Tate really would stay in a week, so I'm gonna try and make a deal she can't say no to. Tate, technical difficulty. What happened? Tell us what happened. The man who graciously let us use his property <laughs> was mowing his lawn, <laughs> and he, God bless him, ran over a cord. So this, this is what the sound of silence, this wonderful sound of silence we're hearing, is the sound of our bubble, our bubble in deep bursting. waiting. <laughs> If you ever wanted to get out, do it now. <laughs> Cause I need to go get another cord. Can I make a deal now while we're here? All right, here's my deal. A one night stay shopping trip, $500 with me. If to the person who gets out within the next minute. So unless you plan on staying in there a long time, I'd come out. 15 seconds. This boy, he gave me his blanket last night when I was cold. Pete, I will never take this trip from you ever. Good job, Tate. You're going to Disneyland. Oh my god. 
I'm going to see the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This has been insane. I don't know how we're going to edit this. See you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.